Hello guys, my name is Ram and that is uh, Bhargava. So welcome to the very first Data Shots. Guys, what we're trying to do here through Data Shots is to give you what we call a, a little espresso shot of data storytelling wisdom for you guys to take it, take a sip of it, energize yourself with a little bit of wisdom we're trying to share so that you can actually implement something which is going to help you grow your audience, grow your brand in 2021. Okay, so we're very excited about launching this. And Barga and I have been actually discussing this for a, a you know, week or so. And we thought that it'd be awesome for us to actually bring this short bite-sized wisdom to you guys. So what we're going to start with today, uh, this is January 1st uh, of 2021. So what we're going to start with today is to uh, share with you a list of recommendations. Okay, so we're going to go like recommendations on how you can optimize your marketing. So we're going to have like these on a daily basis and we'll basically give you a drip, you know, using the copy, you know, analogy in Bhargava. Uh, but today, what we're going to start with is a topic which is very, very near and dear to us because it say, it's going to save you guys a ton of money. If you're a CMO who's actually building a brand and who's thinking like, oh my God, I just got, you know, finally hindsight is 2020. So thank God for that. Right. So, <laughs> so everybody's excited about what's ahead in 2021. Everybody's a little pinched for budgets, but they want to actually drive a whole lot of growth based on what we have learned. We've all gotten digital first for sure. So what we wanted to start with is to start with a topic which is going to save a ton of money. That is, especially when it comes to data-based storytelling, data-driven storytelling, the mantra to start with is stack down, structure up. What do we mean by that? Just to give you a context, guys, there are 8,000 marketing tech tools in the market. I mean, I'm not kidding. It's like Austin Powers kind of stuff, okay? And uh, if you're an enterprise uh, user, the general consensus is that about like there are 120 different marketing tools, marketing tech tools and BI tools people are using. People, most brands get bogged down by trying to figure out either which marketing stack to choose or to believe that they don't have the right marketing solution. And that is why they don't have the performance that they're looking for, okay? What we are here to start with, to recommend to you guys right now, is to let you know that one of the smartest things that you guys can do starting this year is to literally look into your stack and say, how do I optimize my stack down and structure my marketing, entire marketing you know, uh, process so that I can optimize for growth based on what I have? Okay, so Bhargava, I'm going to, you know, give that baton to you so that you can expand on it. Yeah? Thank you so much, Ram. So, the challenge of having to think from a tool first perspective is, is that uh, first you, you are increasing your the so-called technical debt, but also you have a lot more people come on board and then have different points of view on how it should be implemented, right? So this is where quite uh, opposite to how uh, what's needed for a business. So for example, if you think about any brand that's out there, uh, and especially with the current uh, expedition through the pandemic, uh, we, we have a lot of digital adoption already done. Every come, most brands, they all have. They all have a website uh, and then they sell through the website, which means that you already have information about customers who come there. It's already all these website traffic data that we have access to. Uh, and if you are uh, use some of the off the shelf tools like Shopify or one of the stuff like that, it also comes with transaction systems and CRM systems. So you already have information about traffic, transaction, CRM. And you probably have a uh, email marketing solution in place because once an order is placed, you need to communicate with the user and the system is also there on day one. And obviously it could be 
a blog maybe but definitely some amount of prs done as part of the yep. marketing spend and that all is, is data that's just sitting right there the systems already out there and definitely all social media handles and executing campaigns through any of the social or search right so be it google facebook instagram it's all out there on day one and that's this is like you already have access to so many powerful systems that's out there and it makes sense to first understand what's happening in all of these systems together so currently the challenge has been that all of these a lot of brands have been allowing these systems to sit in a silo and not have a holistic perspective of what's happening one with your customers and two with their brand mm-hmm. so that's one of the big challenges that i see uh, what do you think ram so what do you think a problem no i completely agree with you i feel you've hit the nail on the head uh, bhargava because uh, brands especially growth stage brands right the problem is not about you know how do i actually get you know more tools or like more new functions or whatever because I, as you mentioned they already have all the tools the challenge that they face is how do i actually unify it together how do i actually bring disparate data systems not systems sorry data sources from the social from the crm maybe it's a mailchimp maybe it's a facebook instagram pretty much the usual suspects right youtube they all have that data the the real need for them right now is to figure out especially from a data storytelling perspective is to figure out how do i actually discern the right signals right which means like i have this data i have a bunch of people on my website i have a bunch of people saying yay i love this brand i have a bunch of people saying like okay i'm window shopping whatever i jump off the shopping cart some people are like okay i'm just going to like say hello to you on your social media i have all this right the smartest thing that they can do is to find the right team member and the right partner so that they can say hey guys let us look into what we have let us build ways structure up okay maybe it's a causality diagram maybe it's a you know you can come up with so many different ways of actually finding these correlations and what not but the objective if i would i think you would agree with me if i would invest money in this month on based on whatever kpis that i have over the next 12 months or so is to figure out get out my get our teams together and say hey man let's whiteboard this out and say with the existing data stack that we have with the existing data that we have how do we bring it together who do we need or what kind of capabilities do we need so that we can bring this together and get the right you know i call it signals you can call it you know you call it insights whatever it doesn't matter but then this this is more important i think it'll uh, honestly it'll, it'll it'll save a ton of money it'll save a ton of money you know so uh, absolutely so so i i mean uh, a cliche uh, statement but there are all these low hanging fruits that are out there right i mean yeah. it all starts with with having a bunch of hypotheses a uh, better way of telling it is asking the right set of questions yep just don't start with thinking oh do you have access to those data or not first figure out what questions that you want to get answered for right and then figure out with these systems what is the first initial set of answers that you can provide for those questions uh will in this series we'll talk a lot of rois uh one of the rois that i uh, we really like is return on insight right so there's a cost of getting these insights you need access to people tools systems everything in place but just the systems that are in place the, the cost is already factored in you just need as you rightly pointed out a partner or some a way to get these things together and ask these right questions and get it answered i mean you'd be surprised at the kind of low hanging fruits the 10x revenue uplift you can get 
by just figuring out how users churn on your website, how where users drop off, what's the effectiveness of your email conversions on their website behavior or an app behavior. These are just going a level deeper, right? So, so if you think about, say, just having a Google Analytics, it just gives one level of layer, but it doesn't go to the second layer of marrying your email, see, MailChimp or SendGrid, any of the systems you have with your website. Mm, that's right. There's simple things that already out there. You yeah. Have data. You just need to marry them and then get started to get these insights. And a lot of simple things can just be solved just with no new tools invested, with just with the existing data that's out there. And you can already see improvements like, like right away. Awesome. Okay, Bhargava. So I know that uh, I think we made the point very, very clear. Okay. So this year, this whole year, I think what we're going to do is to figure out how we can actually bring these kind of uh, very simple bite, bite-sized wisdom to you guys. So where we are today, we are starting out with this kind of a series of uh, ways of actually helping you guys. And as of today, where we start today is about figuring out how do we actually stack down and structure up. If you need any help around this, Bhargav and I are here and we can definitely help you. Okay. And if you need any uh, advice on how to do this, any directions on who to talk to, how to go about it, we'd be happy to help you out with it. Just hit, hit us up with uh, uh, our, in our social media handle or through his Twitter or my Twitter, doesn't matter. But guys, we are super excited for 2021. And Bhargava, any parting thoughts? Absolutely. Before you think about investment further, stack down and structure up. Excellent. Okay, stack down, structure up, and have some fun, guys. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you in the next data shot. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Bhargava. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.